Hi everybody, in this demonstration we're going to have a look at how to use the Exchange Admin Center tool in order to manage our Exchange organization. We generally use the Exchange Admin Center if we're doing single tasks. We'll generally use things like the Exchange Management Shell if we're doing multiple tasks. So in order to launch up the Exchange Admin Center, first thing we need to do is come into a supported web browser. So I'm just going to use Internet Explorer. Once we get into Internet Explorer, we then just need to type in the URL used to access the Exchange Admin Center. And in the case of my organization, I'm using HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen ex one dot datum dot com forward slash ECP. So now what we'll do is we'll just launch up the website. Then what we're going to do is I'm just going to log in as my administrator account. And then all we'll do is we'll just enter the password. And then sign in and that will take us into our Exchange Admin Center. So within our Exchange Admin Center, the first thing to point out here is that we can manage both on-premise Exchange Server and we can also manage Office 365 or Exchange Online Services. So just looking at the Exchange Admin Center itself, what we have is we have the Recipients tab and in the Recipients tab we can manage everything we can send an email to. In the Permissions tab we can see the admin roles because Exchange Server uses role-based access control. We can see any user roles, so user roles will allow us to modify what users can do within their mailboxes and then we have our Outlook web app policies and within our Outlook web app policies we can control settings used for internet based email access. Next tab we have is compliance management. So within compliance management this is where we can handle all of our compliance settings. So for example we can specify things like retention policies that we can see here so you can specify exactly what we do with the mail once we've received the mail. Then if we go to our organization tab, we can see information relating to our organization. So one of the things we may want to do, if we are using something like Office 365, we're probably going to need to set up some sort of federated trust. Protection is all anti-malware. So Exchange Server 2019 does support anti-malware. So that can be uh, from Microsoft Exchange Services, or what we could do is we could potentially design our own anti-malware settings. Mailflow tab. Mailflow tab allows us to specify exactly how mail flows through our organization. Mobile tab to allow us to manage our mobile devices. Public folders. So public folders are folders that are accessible by multiple users. We have our servers tab and in our servers tab what we can do at this point here is we can manage the servers within our organization and also as well manage the databases on those servers. We can do other things like set up our database availability groups for high availability. We have the virtual directories, so for example, ActiveSync, and we can manage our certificates from this setting as well. Then we have our hybrid tab, and our hybrid tab allows us to configure an Exchange hybrid deployment. So that would be where we have our own on-premise Exchange servers, but what we also have as well is we have our Exchange online organizations. So for example, you may be a company that has a uh, academic staff. Perhaps what you'll do with the academic staff is you will give them on-premise Exchange so you can manage that internally. But for things like students, what you may decide to do is to use Exchange online where we may have a high turnover of users and uh, we need to create and delete mailboxes in bulk and uh, we only want to pay for the functionality that we utilize. So if we just come back up to recipients, so just within recipients, what we also have as well, and it's the same on most of these tabs, what we have the ability to do is we have the ability to create new things, we have the ability to edit things, delete things, search, refresh, and we've also got our more actions as well with our three dots. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of looking at the Exchange Admin Center. Thank you.